today's video we're going to be showing you how to remove your rods from your ls engine <coughs> it's pretty simple to do we're trying to find a socket here you can use the impact just do not tighten them with the impact but you can use the impact to loosen them you want to be careful not to scar your cylinders or your journals when we're moving these and uh don't mix up the direction of your main caps because they are fractured rods and they if, go a certain way. yeah they only go a certain way if you mess them up you can uh pretty well mess a whole rod up what is it what's this one two mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your two looks odd you get me no it's up. two man put a sucker in the two why because i gotta put this back together <laughs> okay So what we're doing guys is marking these pistons. <laughs> so when we pull them we know what we got. You can mark them on the thing but <laughs> it's very simple to do. So we done got this side marked, we're good to go, aim it to turning it over some. Now we're turning the engine back over so we can get to our main caps on the rods. And we're going to keep up with everything. Oh, don't drop tools, Amos. With my toe. What size is that, Amos? Eleven. Eleven. Well, let's see if this little oh wow is impact. Nope. Piece of crap. I got enough torque, so that means we're going off that way. Socket it and watch it. Might it. <laughs> yeah, if we had a dewalt, it sure would, or a snap on. Now we're going to take one of these off at a time so we don't get them mixed up. No doubt. Because you don't want to pull all your rods at one time, do them one each time. Yeah. That way you don't mess anything up. <laughs> oh, hard time to and another thing to know that each LS piston does got a dot underneath no, of it. And they always point to the front of the motor. And these bolts are torque to yield, but GM says you can reuse them up to three times. That just broke. Yeah, okay. What are you doing? Five. Five new knew why if that bolt broke. As you can see, what we're doing is just loosening them up. That way we can take them out with a little impact. Make it a lot faster. We done got number one, number two removed. That is pistons, to just to specify. Ain't number one or two main cap, you can see they still attached. And be careful if you still got the time chain on, don't let it mind. What about things, I see it coming. I do. Keep my ratchet up to How's the bell I'm looking off? Looks pretty good. Well, dirty oil in it but you can see where the the rod cap has been broke you can't mix them up i mean if you do uh you must be blind but they uh fractured rods it's a good thing about gen 4 rods you want to catch it and when pushing your pistons out guys have somebody to catch it or if you're able you know be sure to uh catch it you don't want it hit the ground because it can bust and damage your piston. And this is the wad I was talking about. You cannot mix these up. I'll show you right now. This is a cap and you can tell it's not fitting the way it should. So let's spin it around this way. And then it fits perfect. Scratches don't hurt them, so. Mm -hmm. Scratches from dirty oil. Any oh, motor. Yeah, I Mm-hmm. What now? <laughs> Something burns, sir. Yeah. Okay. You got back crane. See that? It flew out. This news cut out so easy. <laughs> what size is that? Standard. Standard? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Really bad. We got standard bearings in this. So that actually means that's pretty good. I just buy a new set of bearings put in it. Quevites. I mean, it don't need them. It, it don't look like it needs them. I mean, it's got a little scratches in it, but yeah. that's normal for dirty oil. And the cool look thing... Of, look at this burn, boy. What? You want it? I don't hate one in it. Let's put one in it. Yeah. 
It's funny how they just break them rods like that. Right Ain't it funny how they break the rod? Mm -hmm. And not cook it? It's tougher too. All them reeds and stuff. Have that one more, Chris. That bad shape, son. Chris, you freaked me out. You know that. No, for real. Look at this, boss. Ain't got a bell in it. Huh? Ain't got the bell in it. Where's the iron? Does it? No? You know what I'm crying? I think we should drop let's see. Oh, you got it? <laughs> you. See, I hate my fans. <laughs> you got to look, Graham. It's you freaking me out. I hope you ain't got fans like that, guys. If you have friends like we got, you got them. I'm on the right side. Piece of crap. Caught my six old piece of crap. Taking it apart for some reason. Why now? Taking it apart for some reason. Put cam bands in it. Mm -hmm. Piece of crap. Everybody always needs cam bands. No, this is bad shape, fellas. Be honest, I probably use these bands. You're dumb. You're using burns. Why? I ain't hooked. $30 for it, and you got another brand new set. And you already got it down that far. You can do what you want. Another no, use rings. Yeah, you read them stuck rings there. <laughs> you crazy, you read them. Alright, those got brass on them. Does it? Look. Look at that. 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 Well, well. Sure, I that crank turn. Oh, now. <laughs> I wouldn't even take the crank out of it. I ain't no way I would. I'd put new rod burns in it, look at the mains in there. It's a little slack in it, though. Look at all the M for some reason. Yeah. What? We don't attack. It's an M for you. I'll take an M for you. I would use the piss if you don't wrap that crank up tonight. You have rest on it. I got bubble wrap for the crank. So we got them all pulled. All of them looks pretty good, but I am going to take them in and dry them off, clean them up. And double check my balance but everything looks nice my friends kind of freaked me out a little bit because they was helping and ever ever a bell and they said oh god so hopefully you don't have a friend like that that's helping you and freaking you out on your ls engine so if you found this video helpful let me know in the comment section just be careful when you're pouring these you don't want them to go down into the cylinder and scar your cylinder up or hit your journals just be extra careful and just have a free hand to catch them as you push them out. Pretty simple to do yourself, guys. The next video, I'll be showing you how to remove uh, the oil pump. And then maybe after that, I'll be showing you guys how to remove your main caps and stuff. So be sure to get subscribed. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.